All right, so I just thought I would uh, kind of bring up something I've been working on for the past couple months now. Um, and it is Flex TV. It's a streaming service I've been working on. Um, it's going to be a like bring your own media kind of streaming service. It will have a torrent client built in. Uh, but yeah, I just want to show you like my super, super alpha build of uh, a Flex TV. So this is the main site for it. Uh, it's not quite functional. It's more just for like information. So there's going to be Flex free. Um, which, as it sounds, will be the free edition of the media player, um, which will include things like the movie trailers. Um, it will not include um, dynamic transcoded streams. It will include what's called video on demand. So it's going to pre-transcode all of it and then allow you to stream it. You can easily import your own media file. So if you have like Blu-ray players or, or Blu-ray discs lying around or a Plex media player, you can easily import. Uh, you're able to do like watch together with buddies or whatever. And they don't have to have an account. You can share it as guest. Uh, and easy, manage, easy management with the server dashboard app. And you can also share your libraries with friends by giving them an account or by having them sign in as a guest and just watching uh, one or two movies on it. Then for Flex Red, which will be the paid feature, the paid service, I'll uh, have a built-in Torn client. You will also be able to use your own Torn client if you have one already. A built-in Torn indexer, or again, you can use one that you have already. Um, so if you use like Jacket or something, you can use that. Um, this has actually been changed. It'll no longer, it won't use like a proxy list or anything. Um, I'm going to change this so it will have support for Cedar. So if you have a Cedar account, uh, you can use that as well. So this site's a wee bit outdated. Uh, just as I'm working on it, I'm realizing certain features make more sense than others. It'll also automatically uh, automatically download new shows and movies as they air. So like if you have a movie added and but it's not out yet, as soon as it's out, it'll like download it. Um, same thing with show, uh, TV shows and episodes. And you'll be able to add that, the movies and TV, right from the uh, the app. So rather it's from the TV app, the mobile app, the web app. Um, and also with FlexRed, you have the ability to use the mobile and TV apps. Um, so with FlexFree, you can only use the web portal. Um, and these are the, the prices. Again, these are gonna change more than likely. Don't think I'm gonna have a life, uh, a lifetime subscription here. I think I'm gonna change that to something else, or just have these two. Um, but yeah, so this is the site. Uh, again, it's not really functional right now, but and then this is what Flex will actually look like. Uh, this is again a super super like alpha build. Um, I don't have everything built in yet, such as the torrent client or your indexer. Um, currently I have it hooked up to, uh, just a, a jacket client that I have running, um, but I don't have anything built in currently. Um, but it is scanning and it found, like, I have a few movies on here that I'm testing with and TV shows. So it found those right here. And it'll also recommend, uh, like popular TVs or TV shows or movies, um, for you to download. So these are just like the t upcoming shows. These are the most popular, what's popular right now, I guess, for TV shows. Uh, and same thing with movies. These are apparently some popular movies going on right now. Don't know any of them, but. And these are top rated movies. So like top rated of all time. It's kind of, you know, I guess it says right here. Um, and then upcoming movies. <clears throat> and I do have transcoding so uh on the fly transcoding just finished a beta version of that so it's working but it's not perfect um and i can access that by going in here and if you want to view something like i don't have free guy as you can see it says you want to add it um i can either right click and it'll bring up this menu or i can click this little mark uh, this button there and i can say view i can watch the trailer i can add it 
Um, let's view it. It'll give me a few different things. It'll give me the synopsis, uh, the rating. So it's uh, it's PG-13. It's 7 out of 10, or 7.8 out of 10. It'll give me the cast list here. Uh, so, you know, Ryan Reynolds and all these people. Eventually, when you click on these, it'll actually search for more movies by them. And it'll also give you a similar, like, what else is like this? Also, if you hover over these, it will start playing the trailer eventually. Um, that part's a little bit on the slower side still. Uh, so, trying with a movie that has, there we go. <laughs> The lower bit rate. Um, so I'll play the trailer like that. Um, and then these are the movies I actually just have on here. Uh, so I can click on one like like these. If you see the little thing down there, that's like how much of a, I've watched of it just from testing. Uh, I've been testing a lot just with this one because I know this particular video has... Um, it's an HDR video. Um yeah, it's it's a weird uh, uh, codec, so I know this doesn't normally run on like on this PC, or you know I don't have the proper information to run it, so it is going to do a conversion while I'm playing it. So let's click play, and again has the cast has similar movies, um, and yep, click play. You know who the fuck I am? Simon Dewey. And you, if I open this up and just look, uh, oops, I, this is not a, because of my bad, this 100% task manager being weird. Um, it'll see that flex, this is just, I'm running this in visual studio right now, but it launches FFmpeg and it starts converting the video on the fly and it's putting it in a temporary directory so right here and it has all the video files right here um and as i play the movie just gonna mute this real quick i don't actually have a video play, uh, an audio track set up so i'm just manually muting it uh but yeah this is the video player so it'll say the movie title the year uh it'll have where you're currently positioned in the movie so i'm 27 minutes in um the total time and a uh when the movie will actually end and this is this is auto updating so like if you pause it for an hour and then you click play this will update to 105 for example um also if you pause the video for longer than 30 seconds or if the video is inactive for longer than 30 seconds the transcoding process will pause um, and it will restart once you start playing again or it just won't if you uh, if you stop playing so it's basically a performance helper so if you have a friend that just kind of pauses a movie and then like goes to bed it's not going to constantly be transcoding this for hours and be stupid um, yeah so that works uh, and as soon as I close the player, it'll clean it up. So I'll get out of that and it will close FFmpeg and it'll delete its temporary information. <clears throat> I was originally going to save it, uh, and cache it over. So if you watched it multiple times, it would run faster. Uh, but I came into a, a lot of issues with that. Uh, so yeah, that's what it looks like for the movie and with the TV show, uh, sure. Look at Dexter, the new Dexter series. Thought it was just going to be a new season, but whatever. Uh, I can come in here, click on it, and it'll pull up season one. And this I'm still debating on how I want it to look, but if I couldn't figure out... So these aren't downloaded, so I'm trying to basically tell the user that they're not downloaded. I, I'm not a design guy. This is just... Yeah. Um, but if I click on it, it'll obviously, hey, do you want to add it? It'll give me the cast list again. It's all very similar. Uh, and then we have searching. So if you want to search for a movie, TV show, I'll be adding a third option here for actors. And these backgrounds are dynamic. So if I refresh this, 
It's just grabbing a random popular movie and popular TV show. Um, and so yeah, if I grab, let's say, hmm, let's go TV shows, right? Let's search for, oh, what's a good one? Family Guy. Sure. Again, still working on like the way this is laid out. Um, but yeah, so we'll find Family Guy. It's only two options. One is... I don't know what this is. Uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> one is the actual show and one is... I'm assuming a behind the scenes that it's just having a trouble with. Uh, I'll figure this part out. Again, this super like early build. Um, so I'll come up here. Um, it'll give me some information. The year it came out, the average, the MPAA, which is like the TV's rating. Uh, it's <clears throat> it's a user rating from the TV, the the movie database, um, which collects the uh, the rating from IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes. Um, so it's fairly accurate. Um, you can add the show here, or if you want to get more information, you can click that. And we can see all the seasons. So I can, even the specials. So if I click here, there are 21 specials. And we can go through. Some of these don't actually have images. Uh, I'll eventually be replacing these with a placeholder image. Um, we can do back to the show. And... So yeah, we can click on a random season. So let's say this one, you can look through it and we're like, oh, you know, maybe I just want this episode. I can click add, it doesn't do anything right now. I think even, in, no, I don't have anything popping up, but so you can do that. And I can just go back to the season, back to the show, or I can check out the next episode. That's what you want to do, I guess. Um, and you have, other options up here this does nothing right now but this will eventually have if you have any notifications uh, it'll be there and this will be your user area that's what it looks like same kind of context menu as everything else uh, which will allow you to switch users uh, change the account settings server settings i will be kind of changing around the way this works um and you can sign out and go back and none of those do anything right now uh, but yeah, other than that, um, this is pretty much it so far. Um, I know I haven't really, I don't have a lot of features done yet. The, the actual process of getting things transcoded has been, has been an unforeseen trouble. It, it's been a lot of work. Um, but I finally got something working, um, and I, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it obviously needs a lot of work still. Um, like, uh, I'll show you just a glitch that I've come across. Uh, so we can play this again. I'm going to have to mute it because I do not want to get in trouble. Um, Player.muted is true. Uh, so we can full screen this. Uh, oh yeah, it has a right-click menu. I'll eventually add like a, a button down here to do something with it. Um, but you can just right-click for now. You can change the quality. You can change it to something god-awful, like 240p. Sure. And yeah, it actually changed it to 240p, which is kind of surprising. Uh, if I do player.src... Yeah, it's at 240p. And if I go to the folder, it'll say my user 240p. Yep. Uh, an issue I've been having is with seeking. So if I skip to right here, it's playing the same thing over for a second or two. Because it, it still has like that information cached that that is what it was going to play next. And then it actually jumps to where I want it to, which is. It's a wee bit annoying. I can change that back to something tolerable. Um, 
yeah, it's a, it's a wee bit annoying. I don't I don't know how to fix it. I know the issue. Um, I just don't I don't know how to fix it quite yet. Uh, yeah, this is just like a, a project that I've been working on that I'm pretty proud of. Uh, it's something I've wanted for a long, long time. Um, and I know something that a lot of other people have been interested in. Um, but yeah, and oh yeah, I want to show you just one last thing. So if you actually have a show, this is what the season will look like. So it'll look normal, right? And if you have any episodes missing, like I deleted the pilot episode of this because I wanted to just see how that looked all side by side. It'll look like this. Uh, and when you hover over it, it'll actually say like the episode name, season one, episode three, you know. Um, and if we go back to show, it'll say here, you know, what episode's up next. And it'll count like, hey, you don't have this downloaded yet. Uh, and that's a new glitch that I haven't noticed yet. Okay, there we go. That was weird. Uh, this doesn't actually portray correctly, which is, I just haven't gotten around to fixing that. Um, and I have been debating if I should have shows in there, like, like that don't meet your language preferences. Um, like for example, Squid Game, which is Korean. Um, but if I go out here and wait there that load, if you notice top rated shows, if we go across, uh, apparently this is like a BBC show, uh, you know, Japan, Japanese, Japanese, Japanese. Uh, I don't know. And then there are a bunch of like telenovelas. So I'm wondering, you know, I'll make it an option, I guess to just show your language preference. So a lot of these wouldn't show up and it would just, it would show English language, you know, for me, cause I don't speak Spanish. I don't speak Japanese. I don't speak Korean. <clears throat> so I don't watch shows that do cause I don't like dub or sub. I will learn the language if I want to learn it. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's, that is, uh, flex TV so far again, it's like insanely early, but I was just so excited about it. I had to, I had to make a video on it. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think. Uh, does it look good? Do you not like the way it looks? Do you not like the idea of it? Are you confused about a few things? Um, just to clarify, it's something like Plex, Plex or MB, which are current solutions that are, in my opinion, a wee bit lackluster. Uh, so like this is Plex, right? My entire library right here. Um, and it, it has a very similar thing to it, except in Plex, you can't, you can't add movies or TV shows to them. Uh, you, you have to do some weird workarounds, which I'm not a fan of, and my family doesn't know how to. So I'm trying to create a better system that anyone can use. Oh yeah, and this background changes dynamically. Uh, anyway, thanks guys for watching. Peace.